Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Village. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? And if you guys haven't checked out this series so far, it's been so much fun. We have been building some things. So we actually built these walls in the first episode. Second episode, we went for the starter house right behind me. Third episode, we went for these crop fields. And today, we're going to be doing this blacksmith right behind us. And we do have a project board right here in this corner of all the builds we're going to be doing and adding to this how to build a village series and i just can't wait let me know what you want to see next out of the ones behind me a lot of people really really want to see that church that library that inn but we're going to get to all of them which one do you want to see next maybe the animal pen i don't know let me know down below but for now let's get this started let's build up this blacksmith all right let's get this started so these are the dimensions we're working with we're going to be using some cobble some stone stone brick cobblestone stairs some spruce and brick and we're going to be bringing a couple things along the way let's start right here in this corner with brick so right now let's go up one two three and four give it a space of one two three let's go one two three and four right here with our stone in the middle i'm going to do this all in cobble for now but we're going to be mixing in some texture by adding some smooth stone to this but for now let's go with one row here of cobble let's go up an extra one two three four an extra one two three and four give it a two gap space and we're going to put an upside down stair here and go up two more right here and then for texture let's just come in give it a little bit of smooth stone Maybe something like that. That looks awesome. Perfect. Now, let's turn this corner. I'm going to go down again with cobble. Let's go an extra one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just take this up to this line right here. So let's go up another three on every single one, just like that. And then take this one up one, two, three, and four, just like that. Now, let's do another quick little texture job right about here. Let's just do it randomly and we'll pop in windows along the way and I'll show you what to do for this side. But for now, eh, that looks like a good little texture right there. Perfect. Let's turn this corner. Let's go an extra one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and an extra one, two, three, four right there. And let's texture here. I'm not going to put any windows. Uh, we're just going to cover this whole thing up just like that that looks pretty good good texture <laughs> now over here let's give it a one spacer right here we're going to go ahead and put the door but here we're going to go up one two three and four let's go down one and an upside down stair right here of cobble and let's go up one two three and four that'll be our door to get in give it a three spacer right here we're going to put our forge right there so let's go one two three and four and for now let's just leave that open on this side let's go an extra one two three and four right there we're gonna give it a three spacer. This is gonna have a nice archway to get in right here. And then here we're gonna go another one, two, three, and four. Take this one up. There's already one because we're a little lower, but we're gonna take this up to the same level right there. Turn this corner. We're gonna go up an extra, well, just until the top, until we get to that spot right there. And then take this up to the same level. And we're gonna cover all this up again, all the way up and down till we get to that level right there all the way around depending on where you're at if you have any low dips on any corners uh we're just going to get all to the same height so one two three and four all the way around just leaving these a little higher for the roof now for this little piece right here i want to do kind of the same thing we have on this side but i want to do it over here so let's take this up again another one and boom right there perfect let's just leave that just like that perfect now over here we're just going to go ahead and cover this up one line and then we'll work on the archway after but for now just like that now we can come in here and do a little bit of texture so let's just come in and just spread a little bit of the stone around like that perfect let's do another one on this side like so perfect there let's do a little bit here as well just to make sure we're all textured up maybe a little bit here and a little bit there that looks like a good texture job perfect now let's go with the next section and that is going to be the roof so right here we're going to just go down with our spruce there and take it all the way down to there upside down regular upside down regular upside down here on this side we're going to go with a stair just like so then bring it back down just like this until we get to the bottom right here take this all the way down come out right there and we're going to go do the same thing again on this side until we meet up again on the other end which should be right about here take those down perfect just like that okay then stare right there then for now we're going to be very very simple with this i'm just going to go straight down but we are going to beat it up like we did over there up to find show it there it is gonna beat that up just like that but for now make it simple in case you guys want to make it clean this is how you do it take it all the way down like so 
on the top here. Let's just go with slabs. Again, we're gonna break that up, but let's just make it simple for now. Take this all the way down. Is that up to here? Or we're gonna work out the forge, but for now, take this one all the way down here. Just like that, take this all the way down. Let's actually take it just to, let's take it to here for now. I'll show you what I wanna see in a second. Now, over here, this is what I wanna work out. We're gonna take this a little bit into another direction. Let's actually go one higher here, 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 and there. Give it a little trim, just like so. Then on the inside part, we're gonna come in again with the, uh, the spruce, just like that, connected to that. This one, just like this. Let's connect it all, and we're gonna bust out through with the detail. So let's connect that, take that out. Let's go ahead and come all the way down to here, connect to that, take it all the way down to here, connect to this. Now, I wanna make this pop a little more. So the forge is gonna go here, right? But I want the main pop out to go up this end. So let's just take this up right here for now, just a placeholder, but this is where the main forge is gonna go up right here. So we know that's the spot, right? So it's right here at this edge. So technically a space of four from that end, okay? But I wanna bring this style of roof. I'm gonna pop this out on this edge right here. So to do that, watch this. Let's just put this placeholder right here, right? But I wanna put this in here that here and that here you see that we're gonna pop this here and this here let's connect these together so we don't have any weird little gaps but that's gonna be a little pop out to separate where the forge is with this part of the house right there isn't that cool I love that that is awesome then in the middle we're just gonna make a straight line right there for now but again we're gonna break all this up so don't even worry about that right now that's looking very very cool so that's looking awesome now next thing i want to do is this pop these in so i'm going to put one here here all the way on top of each we're going to do this one as well so it's a little bit different from these you see this we have these little different styles on top but i want it to be similar but different at the same time so we have that popping out just like that which is really cool now watch this i want to do something with this edge so i'm going to come down with this one level all the way around to there Okay, then watch this. I'm gonna bring in some campfires. Watch this, we're gonna put some campfires right here at this edge, right here. One level all the way down. We're gonna go with one more level here and we're gonna go with trap doors right here. We're also gonna get some water because we have to put, we have to turn those off. And for that, we just use our little splash potions of water or splash water thingies, whatever it's called. And then right here, we're gonna take this down to cover that up just like that. And actually take these out as well. Let's make a ring around just like so. Actually, let's put them all the same side like that. Perfect. So we have this little overhang bit looking so good. Let's grab a wall. Uh, I'm gonna go with the stone brick wall. And we're gonna take it down right here at this edge and it's gonna go all the way down to there. That is so cool, look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is super sweet. Then, next up, let's start breaking up that roof. So to break up this roof, we're gonna come in and we're gonna, you can, it's up to you guys where you wanna place it, but I wanna come in with some full blocks, maybe a couple here. Let's maybe drop one there. Let's maybe put one up top and maybe one right about here. That looks great. Let's put one in this corner as well. Let's put one up in there. Oh, that looks good. Maybe drop this out. Let's take these two. That is looking cool. Then up here, let's take some of these out. Let's put that, maybe a double right there. And that's already looking great. Let's come over here on this side. We're gonna break this off. Let's break these two. Let's go off right here with these. Maybe one in that corner. Yes, let's go here. Let's go there, maybe one here. Let's go with two there, maybe one in that corner. And it's all like how you feel. Just go with your gut. What do you think would look good when you break it off? And I think that looks perfect right there. On this side, maybe one here, maybe these two. That looks great. And maybe over here, maybe we could take that guy off. And I think that would look pretty good. Let's take a little look. That looks great. You see, just like that, looking pretty awesome. Now for extra added detail down here, we're gonna go with some trap doors and slabs. Let's go with some slabs here. And let's make this random. So maybe here, let's go with one here. Let's double that. Maybe one here like so. And then I'm gonna come back here with trap doors and surround that 
like so. Oh, that looks awesome. I love that beat up look. Then over here, maybe just one here and a little slab on that corner. This, we're gonna do some stuff. So leave that there open. Leave this part also open as well. And maybe to add a little more detail, let's go here. Let's go with one there. And let's put a couple traps right there like that. Looking pretty awesome. So there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Next, let's go inside. All right, let's work this out now. Now for this part right here, this was just a placeholder. So we're gonna take this part out, but you know what? Let's leave it up to that level right there. Uh, let's cover this whole wall up in brick though, right here, and let's work this out. So let's leave a two gapper right there. Let's go on the other side. I'm gonna put two blast furnace. I'm gonna put one here and one here. Uh, then we're gonna put some stairs facing this way, put some stairs facing that way, and let's just take this up just like that. And it'll be our little forge area. So this is where we're gonna do all our blast furnace stuff and smelting a bunch of stuff. So next up, what I wanna do is, uh, let's grab a little bit of gravel. So I'm gonna come in here with the gravel, uh, make it nice and gravelly. <laughs> let's make it look cool. So right up to about there, maybe we could put in a little bit of coarse dirt, nothing too crazy, just a little bit like so. Maybe like that. Do a little more that looks great perfect so we have this area now for this part i'm gonna do nothing but cobble so let's go ahead and replace all this in cobble maybe throw in a little smooth stone why not uh but for now let's just do all cobble so that's all ready and let's put a little bit of our smooth stone in here just to texture it up a bit that looks great then up here let's do a little bit of cross beam action i'm gonna do a cross beam here with our dark oak another one here and another one right there on this side. That looks so awesome. Then in the inside part, let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna put some stairs here upside down. Another row upside down on this side. And on the top here, you know what? Let's just cover this up with full blocks, just like so. And that's looking pretty awesome. All right, so we have all that set up. Let's go ahead and put our little campfire right on the tippy top of that. Let's grab some trap doors as well. And we're gonna surround this whole section here in our uh, trap doors lift these up all the way around and that is looking really really cool all right everything is looking pretty cool but i want to add a little bit more detail so i want to add like almost like an outside storage bit but i want to kind of enclose it this time so for this one right here this edge look how clean this is we need something so what if we do this give it a space of one and two let's pop right here on this edge go one two three and four go give it a space of three one two three and four and then watch this let's go Placeholder block, put that down. Placeholder, put that down. Placeholder, put that down. And we have a little bit of an overhang. Let's put these on the top, just like that. Then let's go a level lower, which would be right here. Let's just cover this up, maybe texture a little bit. I think that looks good. Let's do it again on this side. So let's go up one, two. Let's go something like this. One more up, perfect. Then let's go with some stairs right here. Let's go regular stairs for now, and we'll come in and break it up. Put some slabs right here. So we have a little bit of an outside kind of storage that's separate from the other side, which I, I think is cool. Let's put that here, another one here. We could beat this up as well. Uh, maybe a full block here and here might look okay. Yeah, let's go with maybe a full block here, and maybe one on the side, maybe another one here. That looks so awesome. Then let's cover up this right here at this level. Uh, maybe replace one of a couple of these. Mm, it looks weird. Maybe something like that. Oh, perfect. Then right here, let's go with a stair. Uh, let's do, this is fine. Let's do a little cobble stair on each side. And we have this little storage out here in the back, kind of enclosed, but looking pretty good. Also adding a little bit of a gravel down here as well. So we can make it look a little more run down. Uh, maybe take that up like that. Oh, that looks good. There we go. So we have this little back source, put some trap doors, maybe around like so. And that kind of moves it around, looking pretty good. Uh, maybe another little bit of coarse dirt back there in that corner. Oh, that looks awesome. That is looking so good. So we have this little extension bit. So come with me, let's do something else. Also back here, we could do a little bit more also. So what if we just take this wall down uh, over here? One, two, and three. Take this one down a little bit, one, two and maybe close this off. Let's actually extend that a little bit, something like that. We'll play around with the terraforming. So let's take this down just like this, uh, and then let's go up one and one, and then one on this side. Let's go with the slabs we have here, put those in the middle bits, 
just like that and maybe some on these edges just like this so then back here we have almost like an extra bit of added uh, area for outside storage like let, this would be where you could put some coal that maybe you're using or some extra firewood that you might be using uh, maybe some extra supplies that we can add that in a second so this will look pretty pretty cool uh, maybe I'll do a little more terraform over here but for now I like that uh, maybe adding just a little bit just like this to break that up and then we can also break some of these up as well maybe by adding one or so every so often just to show this is kind of like wasting away a little bit on the main structure blocks that we have there maybe another one there that's looking pretty good maybe even sneak one up top like that that is looking pretty awesome so that's what we have for now I love what's happening right now. So little bits of detail. We could add some glass. You can't even see that. Let's let's change that up. Uh, let's see. Maybe for glass we could add. Uh, you know what? How about some green glass? That'll look pretty good. Oh, that looks perfect. I love that. Green glass is nice. Let's add some trapdoors as well. Maybe onto one side like so. Perfect. Uh, over here, I don't really want to add uh, much. Maybe a small window here. Let's put a little upside down stair right here on this side just to break it up. But just one window and then we can put like a little bedroom action right there. Make it a nice little green glass right there on this side. And then for this edge, um, you know what? I'm not going to mess with that side. Let's leave that clean. But it's looking awesome. What if we have one more window here? Let's take these three. Put a little stair right there. Add another little window. And let's put our trap doors also on this side so i think that's enough windows that's looking pretty good i don't want to have anything here on this end nothing on that we can add a little bit of, of life and a little bit of detail on that but you know what that's our blacksmith right there but give me a few moments let me add some details let's go on the inside we'll do some stuff see if we can dress this up to make it look pretty cool add a little more life to this blacksmith all right and we're done it's looking amazing let me flip here it is bam Check that out. That is looking so good. So I added little hanging lights over here. Pretty simple, just with a little piece of andesite, uh, a flower pot, and a lantern hanging down. Also on the top here, I added another wall with uh, a little flower pot as well. But this is a brick wall, just to give it a little bit of a different look from this. And it's looking so good. Down here, we have a little seat with a grindstone. Uh, over here, we have a nice little water area, so you can go ahead and do the thing with a with a sword or whatever uh we have a little uh anvil so you can bang 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 on the thing and then over here we have all the items uh, or all the possible items the blacksmith can be doing their blacksmithery there okay a little archway over here as well with the same trick we did over here for the back storage area uh we have a little ladder to reach up top for the extra storage and a nice little uh set of uh, armor right here that uh, the blacksmith has been tinkering away on uh, on the tippy top i went ahead and i covered this up over here so it's not that exposed wood piece we have this nice little archway feel uh textured up with the stones looking pretty good uh and it's looking awesome i love that uh on the other side here the path is looking great we have all these little bits of detail here uh inside this little open storage so it's looking pretty good as well more lights here a little bit more atmosphere here with some barrels and some chests over here back storage this is where we put all of the coal kind of breaking down and we use this to kind of scoop it up I need to make a cart here soon, so uh, just to add even more atmosphere. So think of it like you have a little cart here. You start uh, shoveling up some coal, and you go all the way around here to the path, and you put it in the, the little forge area. Uh, a couple little bits here for uh, just some extra campfires unlit, some barrels, some more details. Broke up the wall with some stairs in there, looking pretty awesome, and another hanging light on that side. Uh, over here, we got some bush corners here. We have interior. I'll show you that right now. Uh, over here, the path keeps going, so it kind of curves around this way and goes back that way over here a little flower boxes to add a little bit more detail and i love that uh let's go inside uh for this little area so over here you got a little seating area a little bush you can hang out here place your orders hang out wait here in case you don't want to go home you just want to wait for your tools to be finished uh we got some nice little this is some scented candles it smells great this is vanilla a little bit of vanilla a little hazelnut candles it smells great uh and then over here uh just a little uh, platform a little elevated so you can uh hang out and feel a little taller but either way down here is you put all the valuables you do your trades there uh, we got a couple swords on the wall uh, and this is looking pretty cool I had a little separation a little divider wall here with a slab on top and it's a little bedroom action so the blacksmith can sleep 
barrel on top with a lantern and a painting and it's looking uh, so good <laughs> but that's it that's all there is to it hopefully you guys did enjoy this one this came out so good i love this blacksmith this village is turning out to be very 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 cool and i can't wait to keep adding and we're going with this style right here which i am loving this style so let me know what you guys want to see next we got a whole board back there of awesome builds we could do uh but we got plenty of space to add uh and you know what I'm super excited to see this through. And then once we are completely done with the village, we'll have a world download so you guys can hang out, walk around for yourself. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been amazing. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Goodbye.